I have been using PH sensor with Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 for measuring the pH value of different liquids. I also used it with the EC sensor or TDS sensor for measuring the water quality and I also used it in the making of a low cost hydroponics system which was an Arduino based project. As explained in my previous video which is based on the water level monitoring system using DOF10120 laser range finder or distance sensor. I'm making this series of videos to explain how to use each sensor individually before I make the complete IoT based hydroponics system. So in this series of videos, my first video was based on the IoT water level monitoring system using ESP32. TOF10120 and Blink application. In this video, I explained each and every detail including interfacing, programming and how to get rid of the fluctuations. In today's episode, which is the second video in this series, I'm going to explain how to make IoT pH sensor using the pH sensor kit from the DIY More ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module or LED display module and blink application. The pH sensor kit from the DIYMO is a bit different from the one designed by DF Robot, which I have also used in some of my previous videos explaining what is a pH sensor, its working, calibration and how to use a pH sensor to find the pH value of different liquids. I also used the DF Robot pH sensor kit for measuring the water quality using the Arduino board and I also used it in an IoT based water quality monitoring system using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The DIY more pH sensor kit is cheap as compared to the DF Robot pH sensor kit. I have already explained how to calibrate and use this low cost pH sensor kit with the Arduino to measure the pH value of different liquids. So I highly recommend first watch my previous video and then you can resume from here because I will use the same code but I will do some modifications to make it compatible with the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Anyways after modifying the code and interfacing the pH sensor and OLED display module with the ESP32 development board Finally, I was ready to test the pH value of different liquids including water, acidic solution and washing powder. Before I'm going to share with you the test results, first a few words about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. I have already calibrated my pH sensor kit the same way as I explained in my previous video tutorial. Initially I started with the water. I waited for a few minutes to let the pH sensor stabilize. The water pH value which you can see on the OLED display module is simply amazing. You know the pH of most drinking water lies within the range of 6.5 and 8.5. Natural waters can be of lower pH. The water under test is from well and the value fluctuates around 7 which means this water is drinkable. I am pretty satisfied with the result. The same value you can also see on the Blink application. So no matter where you are, if you have access to the internet then you can monitor the pH value of any liquid from anywhere in the world. 
how easy it is to make an IoT pH sensor using just a few low-cost electronics components. Anyways, next I'm going to check the pH value of this acidic solution. This is amazing. The pH sensor is working just fine. A lower pH value means the solution is very acidic. Next, I'm going to test the pH value of washing powder. You know, mostly the powder detergent's pH value is close to 10. You may get a slightly lower value or a higher value depending on the chemicals used. I shared the test results with you guys and now you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. On the top left side, you can see a regulated 5 volt power supply which is used to supply 5 volts to the ESP32 module. If you want to use an external power source, then you will need this power supply and you will need to connect a wire from the output of 7805 regulator with the 5 volt pen of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. The main advantage of using this regulated 5 volt power supply is that you can power up your ESP32 module using a 12 volt adapter or a solar panel. But if you are performing basic experiments then you can use your laptop or computer to power up the ESP32 module. The OLED display module power supply pins are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins while the SDA and SCL pins are connected with the GPIO pins 21 and 22. The pH sensor kit V plus and ground pins are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground while the PO pin is connected with the GPIO pin 35. This is the same ESP32 development board which I used with the TOF10120 sensor. So I'm going to use the same board with the pH sensor kit and OLED display module. You can see this board also has the relays but for now I'm not using these relays. If you want to make the same ESP32 development board then you can watch my video on the IoT home automation project. I will provide links to all the related tutorials in the description. Anyways I connected the OLED display module and the pH sensor kit with the ESP32 as per the circuit diagram which I just explained. So my interfacing is completed and now let's take a look at how to make the Blink application. Blink application is ready and now let's take a look at the IoT ESP32 pH meter programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is the same exact code which I used in the getting started tutorial which was based on the Arduino board. But as this time I'm using the ESP32 board with the pH sensor kit so I made a few changes. You can see I added these libraries. I also added the authentication token which was generated while making the Blink application and I also added the Wi-Fi credentials. Another most important change is the voltage and the ADC resolution and finally to send the value to the Blink application I added this line of code and you can see I'm using the same V2 virtual pin and the final pH value. Everything else remains exactly the same. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. 
see you in next episode and thanks for watching